this video, we're going to look at iOS icons. These seemingly simple images actually have a huge impact on your application. They're the visual representation of your app and the first point of contact that your user has with your application. And they do several things. They represent your app in the iOS launcher, they represent your brand, and they're the marketing for your application in the App Store. iOS displays your icon in many places throughout the operating system. And although you typically only use one icon, it will be displayed in multiple places and in multiple sizes. Before we get into the specific types of icons that iOS displays, let's briefly talk about the guidelines and requirements that Apple has laid out for icons. First, even though the icons you see in the App Store have rounded corners, you'll need to provide your icon in a square shape. iOS will round the corners, so be sure you don't have any important part of your design in those areas. Next, your icon should be provided as a PNG and should not be transparent. If you want to use a circle, you can have a transparent background, but the viewable portion of your icon should be 100% opaque. Apple requires that you use standard RGB or P3 color. And last, a stroke is applied automatically to all icons in the App Store, so they ask that your icon does not include one. Apple's human interface guidelines suggest that color should be used very thoughtfully. For instance, red is a great color to signify importance, but if red is used in multiple places, it's much less effective in communicating that importance. An icon that has one centered focal point will capture your user's attention best. An app icon should be very recognizable. A user shouldn't have to wonder what the icon means. It should be perfectly obvious. You only want to use letters or words when they are absolutely essential to the brand. Keep it simple. Use a simple background color and avoid transparency. Don't use photographs. Your app icon is small and photographic details are really hard to see. Keep your icon as simple as possible. And lastly, remember not to use any replicas of Apple products as they're all copyrighted. As we've already seen, there are several types of icons, but not all of them are required. The App Store, Spotlight, and Application icons are required. Settings and notifications are optional. However, if your app supports those features, you will need to supply them. Now, let's take a look at some of the differences between the individual icons. First, we have the App Store icon, and this is the one that will be displayed in the App Store and is probably your main marketing icon. These images are fairly large, but they won't be included in the user download. Next, we have the Spotlight icon. This icon is used when your app shows up during the user's Spotlight searches on their device. And here we have the application icon. The application icon is shown on the home screen and it's what the user uses to launch your app. The settings icon is viewed in the settings app. You will need to provide this icon when your app has customizable settings. And here we have the notifications icon, which is seen on the notification screen. This is the smallest icon you'll provide. And again, it's only necessary if your app supports notifications.